2007 Jaguar XK with the dreaded duck bill problem and water leaking into the passenger side compartment. I decided to do it the hard way, which turns out to be quite the easy way, and do it properly. So this little video hopefully should help you and give you some inspiration to crack on and do it yourself. The first thing that I did was remove the carpet. As you can see there, very easy. This um, kick panel just unclips. You want to unbolt the seat mounting, the seat belt mounting, which is down there. And then you simply unscrew the bonnet pull there. And you're gonna have to take this out. You don't have to, but the carpet will come out. I take the seat out, there's only um, three plugs underneath the seat. So the seat comes out and then the carpet lifts out. In That's one. the carpet there from the XK. As you see, it all comes out in one easy section. Behind the carpet, I'll just turn it over, you'll see some horrific watermarks. And that's the damage that's done to it. I've left mine drying overnight with a dehumidifier inside the car and it sucks all the water out. But I mean, it's kind of like when you see the, the damp inside the car, it's what, what you can't see which is doing the damage. So there was an awful lot of water in there, but hopefully we fixed it. So now I'll show you how to take the dashboard First out. First thing is to remove the centre console. Is carefully prise out this um, piece of trim around the gear shift. If take that out, as you can see, that'll lift up like that. Disconnect your start stop button and disconnect your ASL button That's over removed. there. What you're going to do next is undo this screw here, this screw here, this one here, this one here, and that will take off the whole of this side trim. Once this is unscrewed, it literally just pops out. So just undo that. And undo that. Turn that screw out there. That screw out there. And then this will just pop out of there, like so. So that leaves you with that. When you've got it like this, you need to undo this screw this side, this screw in there, and then up underneath here, this one here, you just undo literally quarter of a turn, and you do exactly the same on the other side, but you will have to disconnect um, the gear shift, but you'll see that's just, a plastic push fit connector so you literally just pull that off with a pair of pliers or pop it off with a screwdriver and then the whole centre console will lift out we'll have to pop that out there take that piece of trim out and then move this on forwards that pops off of there and down here you can see our two screws undo there as well so you've got two three, four, and that little one there at the front, like I say, this one here, just undo that quarter of a turn, and then the whole lot lifts up and slides out. Undo that plug there, that plug there, that plug there, and there's one other on the other side as well, and like I say, that will all lift out very easily. What you've got to do is get to these brackets, expose these brackets here. Right, with the centre console removed, what you can do then is pop off the end caps here, And behind here, you want to unplug this and this, very straightforward, and then undo these two 13mm bolts there and there, and it's exactly the same on the other side. You also want to take out the A pillar trim there, that just pops out, and then you want to undo those three bolts there and take that bracket off. And it's exactly the same on the other side. So. Undo that bracket there, undo those two bolts there, and then you've got another bolt up here. I don't know if you can see that. At the front of the dashboard, you'll see, if I can just show you that there, 13 mil there, underneath the little vent, and it's exactly, exactly the same on the other side Easier as well. For myself, because I was doing it on my own, I did take the radio unit out, and I won't show you now, but what you do, literally just pull the faceplate off this surround all comes out here and then behind there is one two three four torque drives and at the very top here two smaller torque drives so undo those six bolts 
remove the radio unit, heat and climate control unit, and behind that you see the wires, various wires, just unplug them all. Okay, so on the driver's side, you want to get down into the footwell here. Let me just put the light on there. If you take out this kick panel here, behind here, you'll see where the steering coupling comes up out of the floor and then trace it back about six or eight inches and there's a little 10 mil pinch bolt. Undo the pinch bolt and take it out and that will then release the steering coupling. So the whole steering wheel, instrument cluster, everything comes out as one. Remember on this side as well, you also got to pop this end panel off. Slide that out. Undo this connector here, this connector here, and then that 13 mil bolt there, and that 13 mil bolt there. And don't forget again, on this side, underneath here, that little plastic piece pops out and there's another 13 mil bolt. So you've got three 13 mil bolts on the driver's side and the steering coupling. And you've also got behind here, but I haven't shown you, it's exactly the same on the other side. If you take this side panel out here, behind here is another bracket um, with three 10 mil bolts that hold the um, dashboard onto the center piece there. So when you've undone your steering coupling, you're taking your center console out, you've got the radio out, you've undone your three plugs, or three bolts on the side there, and your three bolts on the other side there, and your two brackets in the middle, and your two bracket, two bolts up um, on the heat vent there. The whole dashboard with the steering column, everything, glove box, the lot, will all lift out as one.